music is organized sound. So let's organize sound using strips of paper. To begin, we will use two strips of colored paper. A larger contrasting sheet of paper makes a nice background. And after we experiment, we can choose a pattern and glue it onto this paper. Fold each strip of paper in half, then choose one of the strips and fold it in half again. Cut along the folds to create pieces that are one-fourth and one-half of the original length of the strips. Next, choose two of the short pieces and one of the longer ones and fold them in half again. Cut the folded pieces in half. Now we have four pieces that are one-eighth, four pieces that are one-fourth, and one piece that is one-half. Here we have four fourths in a row. Let's say ta for each rectangle and read from left to right. Let's chant it four times. Ready? One, two, me and you. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Last time. Ta, 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 ta. If you would like, you can freeze the video and transfer this to an instrument or a found sound. What's different about this pattern? You're right. The third rectangle has been split into two eighths. Now we have one-fourth, one-fourth, one-eighth, one-eighth, and one-fourth. Notice that the two-eighths take up the same space as one-fourth. We will chant the syllable T for each eighth. So this pattern will sound like this. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's chant it together four times. Ready? Two, me and you. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. 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 Here's a new pattern but I think you know enough to figure it out. We have two eighths, two eighths, one fourth, and one fourth. Sometimes in music, we use the word quarter instead of one fourth. Sometimes we use the word quarter in math for one fourth. This pattern sounds like this when we chant it. T, 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 ta, ta. Let's do it together, chanting it twice and then tapping it twice. One, two, me and you. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Tap it. What's different about this pattern? We have six eighths and one fourth. When we chant it, it will sound like this. Ti, 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 ta. Let's chant it twice and tap it twice. One, two, me and you. Ti, 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 ta. T T T T T T ta. Now we have one fourth plus two eighths plus two eighths plus one fourth. It will sound like this. Ta 
ti 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 ta. Let's chant it twice and tap it twice. One, two, me and you. Ta ti 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 ta. Ta ti 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 ta. Do you see the pattern? What do you think it will sound like? We have two eighths alternating with one quarter. Let's do it together. Chant twice and tap twice. One, two, me and you. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. How does this pattern compare to the last one? Can you guess what it will sound like? This time I won't say. Let's just do it. Chant it and tap it. One, two, me and you. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti. We have something new here. We have one fourth, one fourth, and one half. Notice that the one half is twice as long as the one fourth or quarter. We say ta for the quarter, and we are going to say ta. Say the ah twice as long because it's twice as long as the quarter. We're going to chant it four times. Ready? Two, me and you. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Something's different here but I'll bet you can figure it out. What will this sound like when you chant it? Ta, ti, ti, ta. When we chant a half, we are able to make it long by saying ah. If we tap a half, we need to draw our hand down our arm to show that the sound is drawn out. Or if we're playing it on an instrument, we need to find an instrument that makes a long sound. For example, on a wiro or bumpy rhythm stick, it could sound like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta. You can choose if you want to chant, tap, or play. We will do it four times. Ready? Two, me and you. Most often in music, we use symbols to represent how long sounds last. We've been using fraction strips. They work very well. Here we have a quarter, two eighths, and a half. Actually, those are the names of these notes. A quarter note, two eighth notes, and a half note. To extend this activity to include variations in timbre and or pitch, cut additional fraction strips in other colors. 
Here's an example of a mixed pattern with two different colors representing possibly two different timbres or two different pitches. Please note that groups of two beats are easiest for young students or beginning students to manage. Compose and perform your own patterns. One, two, three, just me. One, two, only you. For a bigger challenge, create eight beat patterns. It's time to create and perform your own patterns. Happy music making!